There is much talk about ventilators in the management of COVID-19. But ventilators have existed for decades and have been used to manage a range of cases classified as critical. A specialist in the field explains that about five out of every 100 COVID-19 patients have critical infections with respiratory symptoms requiring a visit to the intensive care unit and the use of a ventilator, a machine which supports the lungs to breathe. Respiratory failure, that means a lung is not performing its job it needs to do. Uh, when a patient comes in or puts in on a ventilator, first of all, we will we have to put uh, what we call an endotracheal tube. We put a tube into the wind windpipe of the patient that goes to the trachea and we, so, and we connect the tube to the ventilator support here. So the, the aim of the ventilator is to blow oxygen to the lungs and take away the carbon dioxide. And those patients, for patient to be on the ventilator, the patient needs to be asleep. So we give them uh, uh, medication that induce coma. A high level of expertise is required to operate one of these complex machines, which has to be set to deliver the desired breaths per minute, tidal volume, pressure, oxygen concentration, and other parameters. We give the patient a, a, a mandatory volume of air into the lungs and put set the respiratory rate, and then the machine just deliver uh, the oxygen that you've set up to a volume you've set, and the machine stops and then take away the carbon dioxide. One side doesn't fit all. Some people will need higher volume, some people need lower volume. If the patient wants to make a, 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 a breath, this machine stops, allow the patient to make their own breath before it starts going in. So it's synchronized, it doesn't fight the, the patient's ventilator patterns. Ventilators are imported from Germany, the UK, China, and other countries for use in Nigeria and could cost between 25,000 to 60,000 US dollars or between 9 million and 25 million naira, depending on the make and manufacturer, which raises the question of local manufacture. These doctors believe it's a good idea, but a regulatory body should ensure minimum standard. The engineering involved is what we lack. Very many things are put into consideration to make a ventilator. It is, it's beyond just giving her and allowing the patient to breathe. Yet the intensivists think private hospitals should be ready for a spillover of COVID-19 patients. We are get, going to get to the level where um, every hospital we have a COVID uh, carve out either a ward or a section to take care of COVID-19 patients. Of the patients that get on a ventilator, about 50% survive. And although these experts can't put a definite figure on the number of ventilators in the country, they say there are not enough and no structured intensive care training exists, leaving Nigeria in need of more intensive care units and beds to handle a possible surge in COVID-19 cases. Mary Alale Yusuf, Channels Television News. Thank <music> you.